Imagine standing on the shore of a vast, dark ocean, casting a message in a bottle into the unknown. In 1977, humanity did just that, not with water, but with the ocean of space. Our bottles were Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, spacecraft launched to explore the outer planets and beyond. Voyager 2 lifted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida, riding a rare planetary alignment that happens only once every 176 years. This alignment led a single spacecraft slingshot from planet to planet using gravity as a cosmic billiard shot. The mission wasn't just about taking pictures, it was about understanding our solar neighborhood as never before. Voyager 2 became our eyes and ears in places we couldn't reach, carrying the dreams of a species just leaving its cradle. We were driven by ancient curiosity, what's out there, are we alone? Voyager 2 was our boldest attempt to find answers. It was a small craft but it carried the weight of human aspiration. As it left Earth our planet shrank to a pale blue dot, a fragile oasis in the blackness. Voyager 2 was on its way carrying our message, our music and our hope. It was a whisper from Earth sent into the cosmic silence. Would anyone hear it? We didn't know but we sent it anyway. Because hope and curiosity are what make us human. Voyager 2's journey was a masterclass in celestial mechanics. It reached Jupiter in 1979 revealing the Great Red Spot and active volcanoes on Io, worlds of violence and beauty. Using Jupiter's gravity, it slingshotted to Saturn, flying past the rings and glimpsing Titan's thick, mysterious atmosphere. Unlike its twin, Voyager 2 pressed on to Uranus and Neptune, worlds no spacecraft had ever visited. At Uranus it discovered new moons, rings and a bizarre magnetic field. Neptune, its final planetary stop, was a deep blue world with the fastest winds in the solar system and geysers erupting from Triton. Each encounter rewrote our textbooks, revealing the outer solar system as a place of stunning diversity. Voyager 2 wasn't just a tourist, it was a detective, uncovering clues about our cosmic origins. This was the first and last time a spacecraft would visit these distant worlds in the 20th century. The grand tour was complete. Voyager 2 had changed our view of the solar system forever. After Neptune, Voyager 2's planetary mission ended, but its journey continued. Now, on an escape trajectory, it was bound for the stars. Its new mission, explore the edge of the sun's influence, the heliosphere, a vast magnetic bubble created by the solar wind. Voyager 2 became our scout, measuring the solar wind, magnetic fields and cosmic rays as it sailed into the unknown. Its cameras were off to save power, but its instruments kept listening to the faint whispers of the cosmos. The goal reached the heliopause where the solar wind yields to interstellar space. For decades scientists could only guess what this boundary was like. Voyager 2 was our only hope of finding out, its mission, keep going keep exploring until its power finally runs out. On November 5, 2018 Voyager 2 crossed a cosmic milestone. Its instruments detected the solar wind vanish and cosmic rays surge. It had crossed the heliopause, entering interstellar space. Unlike Voyager 1, Voyager 2's sensors were still working, giving us our first direct measurements of the plasma at the edge of our solar system. The data revealed a turbulent high-temperature boundary, a wall of fire where solar and interstellar forces collide. The plasma was far hotter and denser than expected, a cosmic traffic jam at the edge of the sun's domain. This discovery transformed our understanding of the solar system's frontier. For the first time humanity had sent two emissaries into the space between the stars. Voyager 2's data is a gift, a first-hand report from a place we had only imagined. Its journey marks both an ending and a beginning. The solar system was behind it, the galaxy lay ahead. Voyager 2 is now a true interstellar traveler, its epic voyage through the Milky Way had just begun. Aboard Voyager is a message a golden record, a time capsule for the cosmos. It contains sounds and images chosen to represent the diversity of life and culture on Earth. Conceived by Carl Sagan's team, the record holds 115 images, greetings in 55 languages, and a symphony of music from Bach to Chuck Berry. There are sounds of wind, rain, animals, and a mother's first words to her child. The record's cover is an instruction manual, showing our location using pulsers and explaining how to play the disc. It's a message of peace and hope, meant to last for billions of years. Long after Earth is gone, the record will drift among the stars, carrying our story. The golden record is humanity's most ambitious greeting, a testament to our desire to connect and be remembered. It says this is who we are, this is our world, this is our time. If someone finds it, they'll know we existed, and that we reached out. Keeping Voyager 2 alive is a triumph of engineering and dedication. 
Today it's over 20 billion kilometers from Earth, its signal a faint whisper, billions of times weaker than a watch battery. Commands take 18 hours to reach it, and another 18 to return. Its nuclear battery is fading, forcing engineers to shut down systems to conserve power. In 2020, we nearly lost contact when the only antenna capable of sending commands was offline for upgrades. In 2023, a wrong command turned its antenna away from Earth, but the team managed to recover it. The mission is run by a small, dedicated group, guardians of our interstellar messengers. They know every quirk of the aging spacecraft, fighting time and distance to keep it alive. Their work keeps Voyager 2's historic journey going, sending back precious data from the space between the stars. It's a 48-year-old conversation across the cosmos. Each signal is a triumph, a reminder of our reach and our determination to keep listening. Voyager 2 is more than a machine. It's a symbol of our curiosity and ingenuity. Built in the 1970s with technology now ancient, it has survived radiation, cold, and the passage of nearly half a century. Its resilience is a testament to the people who built it, knowing it would outlive them and carry our legacy. As Voyager 2 travels farther, Earth becomes a pale blue dot, a fragile home in the vastness. Carl Sagan's words remind us, all our conflicts and worries shrink against the backdrop of the stars. Voyager 2 connects us to the cosmos in a tangible way. It's a physical object, built by us, now traveling among the stars. It is our scout, our pioneer, our silent ambassador. It will wander the galaxy for billions of years long after we are gone. It is a piece of us achieving a kind of immortality. For a brief moment we reached for the stars. Voyager 2 is our ghost in the machine, a testament to our curiosity and our desire to be known. Voyager 2's legacy is one of discovery, inspiration, and hope. It transformed distant planets from points of light into complex worlds revealing a solar system richer than we imagined. Its data will be studied for generations, but its true legacy is the inspiration it provides. Voyager 2 shows what humanity can achieve when we work together and look up. It encourages us to ask big questions and dream of new frontiers. By sending the golden record, we affirmed our belief in a future we may never see. Voyager 2 is an act of cosmic optimism, a message that our story is worth telling. As its power fades, its voyage continues a silent traveler in the river of stars. It carries our story, our music, our hope. As long as we keep wondering and exploring the spirit of Voyager lives on, it is our promise to never stop reaching for the cosmos.